Right, on to drawing number three. Loving the sound of my own voice. Another tip uh, that I'd like to remind you when you're putting these pages on your clipboard, just make sure that these horizontal lines line up with your horizontal line. Because sometimes if you don't put it in carefully, um, if it's skew, for example, and you then go and draw all of your lines horizontal, you'll see and notice that um, your drawing will be inaccurate. So make sure that your page is in carefully. There you go. As far as possible. All right, so we've got our standing point. We project this down this time. You will notice that this drawing is a little bit different. So we're going to project this down onto our horizontal plane. Okay, our standing point is not affected um, by the horizon line and it can be anywhere on the plane, uh, on that vertical plane. So we're going to draw our line here, we're going to label this VP vanishing point. Okay, make sure you don't get confused, your vanishing point is for your front view. So these lines over here, I'm just going to take this out, so these lines over here are going to be projected to your vanishing point. Okay, so this is different to the other two. Alright, okay, going back to the vanishing point. Remember to try and draw one surface at a time, especially in the beginning. And it's always a good idea to draw yourself a quick little sketch about what you think this is going to look like in isometric. I can see solid lines here, which means that there is a corner here, okay? So if I was drawing that in isometric, I know that these are all edges. Okay, now looking at my top view, this gives me more information. This is telling me that there is a change of height halfway through this piece over here. So I know that at the bottom it's going to look like that. That straight line there tells me that that can go back straight. These lines here tell me that these two lines can go back straight. However, something's happening here. Now when I go and look at my front view here, I can see that this line is touching the bottom and this line's touching the top so you've got this happening there like that okay and so we've projected our lines back um, this has been drawn in dark for you because it's touching the picture plane. This line here, they've drawn it in lightly knowing that this is further back. So what I would do is I would try and find this surface here first. So we're going to project this line over here. So now we are looking at our top view. We're standing and we are having a look at where these lines would be projected. Okay, remember that you don't have to draw these lines going all the way down here. You simply draw them to the picture plane and down. I've just drawn the single line here so that you can see where it goes off to. Okay, remember to try and always make sure that you line up your ruler with these lines going across. Right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take these three lines back here. Okay, that is going to go up until here. So my first point I'm going to find is this one here.
And you are going to notice that these drawings can sometimes look very different. Draw from point to point on the same of this year. to drawing number four. Okay, we've got multiple surfaces here at different heights. So identify the ones that are touching the picture plane and draw those in dark straight away. Remember that any line that you draw that is correct, you get the last one. From here, this corner then goes back. So the first corner we're looking for is this one over here. This we take to our standing point where it hits the picture plane. We bring it down. To locate the vanishing point, we project this line up to the horizon line. Label it straight away so that you don't forget. Vanishing point. Thanks, guys. And I'll carry on with part two in a bit.